Face it. You have locked yours at one time or another when a brother from a different color has approached your door. Even though it's not 1954 no more, sometimes it sure feels like only a few years before 64. For sure. Yeah, we've made improvements, but we got further to go until I no longer need to be proved my baby boy might grow up just like Emmett Till. Still. I have to teach him stand his ground for all these racists might attempt to make him turn it down like Jordan Davis. And these are just the faces on the news that now are famous, but for every Trayvon Martin, there's 100 unsolved cases. So I've been rapping for uh, quite a long time since I was a child. Previously, I taught math seven years for Northeastern University, but I've also taught at a total of 10 universities and 137 different courses. My name is Professor Lyrical, or Dr. Peter Michael Plourd. We're here in my office at the University of District of Columbia. It's kind of like where academia meets hip hop for me, and that's real cool. I think it's empowering for students. I think it's empowering for all the faculty to realize you can bring in sort of your personal lives and your authenticity and your truth and bring it into the classroom as well, and the students respond to that. So when I speak and when I get a chance to do faculty development, I talk about ways to bring hip hop pedagogy into the classroom or into the college campus to create more meaningful, safe spaces for students to express themselves and find their own truth through their voice of hip hop and hip hop community. And it creates discourse. And it's a powerful tool, a pedagogical tool in the classroom. If you want to speak about any social justice topic in the classroom, including gender, hip hop is your platform. And yeah, bring the intersectionality of our different lives together and be authentic with it and not hide that and shield that from our students who are desperately trying to find out how to make meaning out of their own lives, how to deal with their truths that they face on a daily basis, and to how to make viable careers out of their passions. Almost as soon as I got here, a Pitch and Flow event took place at the Kennedy Center. Using hip hop as a voice for the entrepreneurs who are on hand that were mostly green entrepreneurs and, and folks committed to social change through their own innovations. We get to be the voice for that and rap the lyrics, sort of the soundtrack, if you will, for these companies. I was fortunate enough to win the event. It was a wonderful uh, taste for me of what DC is all about show up to, to perform at an institution, I'm always sure to bring in those worlds and show how those intersectionalities make for something more meaningful and powerful than the traditional classroom. Reestablishing what we came from our guardians and passing it on down again, reacquainting the audience, come on.